Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome here if it's your first time. In today's video, I'm looking at the thing inside here, which are the Sivga P2 Pro planar magnetic headphones. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? David here from Prime Audio Reviews. Now, if you are familiar with the recent Sivka headphones, you'll notice we've got a different case here. This one looks less like a butt with a suntan and strategically so, I might add. And it looks more like a headphone case. So they've always been nice, but yeah, the last one looked super much, super similar to a posterior. And uh, But anyway, here we are with the new one. So the P2 Pro, it's a planar magnetic headphone well let's get the case out of the way first look you got it's just beautiful it's leather it's stunning it's got these brass colored feet on it it's semi rigid so it's going to offer some protection for the headphones but let's get into the headphones themselves because that's why we're here and voila there they are so first things first they're gorgeous right they look amazing these ear cups are red oak so they are real wood which means every headphone has its own unique grain and pattern on there. We've got these stainless steel mesh covers on the ear cups there. A faux leather, well, maybe, I think it's faux leather headband. Unfortunately, not real leather. And these super plush ear pads, which are definitely faux leather. So that means if you live somewhere like I do, I live in Thailand, by the way, that means these will need replacing in two to three years because they will literally disintegrate. They will just fall apart. But in their current state, they're absolutely beautiful, nice and plush. They've got a fabric lining on this surface here, so they feel a bit more comfortable on your face, a little bit cooler as well. Although, of course, your ears do get hot because they are not perforated. But yeah, really nice ear pads. Spring steel headband as usual, and you get these adjustable height sliders on the side for that head strap there. And in addition, the ear cups rotate fully 180 degrees, which is excellent. That's awesome. But what about the price, you ask? Well, let's say at currently they seem to be around 449 US dollars which is not cheap, I know, we're in that mid-tier realm. Uh, yeah, quite expensive, but judging by the just the look and the feel, they definitely feel very premium, really nicely built, and they're simply beautiful. I want to talk about the cable real quick, though, because it is also fabulous. Look at that. That looks almost like a premium IEM cable. It's absolutely gorgeous it's this nice copper color it comes with a 4.4 millimeter termination but in the box there's a 4.4 to what is it 3.5 or 6.35 anyway there is an adapter in the box so you can use it with you know most amplifiers and daps and whatnot the connectors are standard 3.5 millimeter so if for every reason you do want to replace this cable, it's easy to do. There's lots of alternatives out there. I'm sure the only reason anyone would ever want to replace this cable is if it got damaged because it's a stunner. It handles beautifully. It's just super nice. So back to the headphones. Let's talk about comfort. I find these super comfortable. Thanks in no small part to these lovely plush ear pads, that wide headband on the top uh distributes pressure evenly on the top of your head the clamping force is just right it's not too intense but at the same time they never feel like they're gonna fall off your head the way these ear cups they pivot and they swivel so they conform naturally to the shape of your head which is great they are a little bit heavy they're like um 435 grams which is a little bit on the heavier side but for me it's no issue whatsoever now with all that physical stuff out of the way, let's get right into how the Sivga P2 Pro sounds. So these have got a fairly warm and musical sound signature, which means they're engaging. 
great for casual listening and content consumption. So things like movies and games, they're really great for that. However, for the more astute listeners, critical listening on these headphones isn't quite as impressive. We'll touch on that later, but for now, yeah, beautifully warm and musical. The bass has got lovely depth, it's got good impact, but never it's never overbearing or too much. The mid bass is nice and punchy, it's nice and warm, but it's very controlled. And sub bass notes reach nice and deep, and they can create a nice thrilling rumble as well, which is enhanced by the unique quality and the resonance of these wood ear cups, which is exactly why they've been implemented here. Not only do they look great, but in case you don't know, wood has fantastic acoustic properties, which is why a lot of high-end speakers have wooden cabinets. The mid-range is luscious, it's sultry, but it maintains good clarity and good separation. Again, planar driver, they perform excellently in terms of technical uh, performance. Now, vocals and instruments, they've got good body. There's really good note density as well, which makes the, the music and the vocals and instruments feel lifelike like you can reach out and touch them. The upper mid-range aren't artificially boosted like a lot of chi-fi stuff, so the upper mid-range doesn't have any shoutiness, so male vocals sound nice and rich and full-bodied. Female vocals sound vibrant, but also inviting. They're not shouty and they don't pierce your ears. In addition to that, you know, those electric guitar solos and things like that, they're, they've got a bit of crunch crunchiness to them which is good a bit of texture but they don't sort of make you cringe or wince so the upper mid range is done nicely here and the p2 pros treble it's nice and clear it's somewhat laid back in the highs which makes these good for most music genres you know there's a good mixture of clarity precision and smoothness up there there's no sibilance or harshness, which means these are good. They're fairly forgiving on port recordings. The soundstage is moderately wide. It's not it's not super expansive like you might expect for an open back headphone, but they do have good width. They do have very good depth in the soundstage too, and a nice stable center image thanks to that solid note density. So it's not wispy or wishy-washy it sounds like you know these things are actual physical instruments in the real world and consequently the imaging is quite good with fairly accurate positional cues which is enhanced again by that note density and the high level of control of that planar magnetic driver now my biggest gripe with the p2 pro is its disappointing detail retrieval Micro details are often just lost, which results in a somewhat low fidelity sound, which isn't exactly the right term, but like the shortcoming of the detail retrieval, it's most evident in complex tracks where multiple instruments and layers are present. But if you are someone who likes a nice, neutral, uncolored sound, and you're looking out for all those micro details, you would probably be disappointed with these. Now I'm going to do a couple of comparisons here. I did want to use my Hi-Fi Man Sundara, but that um, <laughs> before I mentioned the uh, Thailand weather and how it affects headphones, well, my Sundara ear pads have disintegrated pretty much, and the headband is literally falling apart as well. So. I can't really do a comparison. I'm going to need to get some replacement uh, ear pads and possibly a new headband for those as well. So I've got starting here with the Harmonic Dyne Zeus Elite headphones. And yes, I know this is a dynamic driver headphone. It's priced at roughly $379, got 50 millimeter dynamic drivers. The Zeus Elite has a more lively presentation. It's got a brighter tone. The bass level is fairly similar to the P2 Pro, but the Zeus Elite has more clarity in the mid-range due to uh, lifted upper mids. And this is where the, its added brightness and occasional shoutiness come from, whereas the P2 Pro is calmer and more laid back. So those 
those electric guitar solos or you know those uh crescendos in rock songs and things like that they're a little bit edgier on the zeus elite whereas they're just pretty smooth and easy going on the p2 pro uh i'd say the zeus elite can't match the p2 pro in overall resolution nor does it do any better with micro detail retrieval so neither of these is particularly good at picking up those micro details despite the Zeus Elite being brighter. Soundstage is perhaps a little wider on the Zeus Elite, but it has less note density and the vocals are not as forward. Now our next comparison is going to be with the Ibasso SR2 headphones. These retail at around 549, so it's a bit more expensive than the P2 Pro. And yes, the SR2 here has dynamic drivers as well. It has a brighter tone than the P2 Pro. The SR2's bass is it's more nimble or more agile, but it's not as punchy and not as impactful as it is on the Sivka. The mid-range on the uh, Ibasso here is closer to neutral, and there's better clarity in those mids too. Now, the SR2 has got crisper transients. It's got more bite and more texture on electric guitars and clearer vocal articulation. In comparison, the P2 Pro's mids are smoother and warmer. Both of these headphones are fairly laid back in the treble region. The SR2 gets its extra brightness from that boosted upper mid-range. This gives it, gives it extra vibrancy, but at the cost of some shoutiness. So let's wrap it up uh, by saying that the Sivga P2 Pro Look, these are, these are a great daily driver in my opinion. I have actually been using these for way longer than I should have. I've been, it's taken me far too long to do this review. This happens quite often with headphones. I don't know why that happens, but they've just been on my desktop. I use them pretty much every single day. Like I said, great for music, casual listening, and great for content consumption, like watching movies, gaming on these is fantastic because... They've just got a not a not especially relaxed sound. It's quite dynamic, but it's just non-fatiguing. And on top of that, they are super comfortable. So if you're looking for a warm sort of uh, musical headphone, these are a great choice. But if you're looking for something that's really neutral and super detailed, then you will need to look elsewhere. So right, having said that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, why don't you give it a thumbs up? Power Family audio file style really helps out the channel. And if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. And until next time, I'll see you later.